Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to build minimal Linux for Asus Tinker board using Yocto build tool. We have Asus Tinker board powered by RK3288 rock chip processor and 2GB RAM. So let's get started. Let's begin by cloning the Yocto repository, open Pokey and get the git link. Go ahead and I'm going to clone it now. Once the Pokey cloning is done, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the Rockchick repository. I'm going to fetch the Rockchick repository right now. You can find the Rockchick here. Yep, so there's the one. I'm going to copy the link and proceed as earlier. Once the rock chip is cloned, the rock chip has dependency or ARM and the open embedded. So I'm going to do the same thing for meta ARM. If we actually check into the repository page, you can see you can go to the about section and here we can find the dependency list above yep and same thing with the open embedded so we are going to add both of them to the build list i'm going to go ahead and clone the meta arm once the ARM cloning is done, I'm going to do it with open embedded. Copy the open embedded repository link and go, and go ahead and clone it. Once the cloning is completed, the next step would be to add all this to the metadata. So I'm going to do that by first initiating the environment source. And then now I'm going to go to the build folder, which is generated after the source execution. And in the BB layers, I'm going to go ahead and add all these meta infos. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the rock chip, arm, and open embedded. I'm a lazy guy, so I'm going to just go ahead and do some copy pasting. Yep. So there is dependency on the tool chain. So I'm gonna add that. And finally the open embedded. Once we have indented all this and cleaned this up, next we can go ahead and initiate the bit pick. Before we do that, we need to check the machine info that's for us is Thinkerboard. So you have to paste that here in the local.config. 
So I'm now going to go ahead and initiate the bitback bitback command. And I'm going to do a minimal build. So core image minimal. This is without any graphical user interface. But you should have the minimum things needed for the board to be up and running. As you can see the machine info is shown as Tinkerboard. The build I started this should take from a couple of minutes to hours. Depends on your machine and your read write speed. build is completed now all you have to do is flash the binary onto your SD card I'm going to first visit the binary location that attempt deploy images and tinkerboard I'm going to check the SD card location so you should always ensure you have the right SD card location in my case it's going to be dev slash sdb but i'm going to still go ahead and verify that yep there you have it this slash sdb i'm going to do now a dd command and flash the wic file to the sd card wic is a combined image having bootloader and the root fs there's minimal thinkerboard dot wic and the output file would be my dev slash sdb that's my sd card i'm gonna go ahead and do a sync just to ensure that everything is synced up yep and i'm gonna go ahead and execute the command this should take again a couple of seconds to a minute more than a minute depends on your sd card read write speed so once the write is completed i'm going to insert this into the think a board and boot it up so before we run putty i'm going to just check the tty i mean my usb ur converter location so that would be tty usb zero here so i'm going to open that in putty and input that so yep yeah. and the default border is 115.00 i'm going to open it up and now i'm going to go ahead and boot up the board. I'm going to go ahead and power on the board. This should take a couple of seconds till you see the power. You can see the power LED and the device has started to boot. The, the default username is root and the password is null. So once you enter the username, you should log you in. The system has started to boot up. It's already connected to the network, so it is network capable as well. It's done, and yep, there you have it. In the login, as you can see. It's able to ping. And the thing is, it already has APD built in. I'm going to show you next how exactly I enabled APD on this. So go ahead and visit the Perky build and in that config, go to local.config. Here, you should first enable the right package manager. So you can opt for all RPM, Debian, and uh, IPK or you can just go with debian depends on your liking once you're done with that next would be the core image extra install so this is where you specify the apd plugin along with vim i mean it up to you if you want vim or not and next would be with an extra image feature don't forget to add package management so once you have done that and you build yocto you should have the APD by default in your image. That's all. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.